talking about the far right. Can someone define far right to me, please? The old, the old politics. Matt, yeah. Can you define Matt, far right? The, Matt's one of the experts yeah. on that very thing. Right, yeah. there, are, there, are, there, are, there are two key things that far right groups share. Okay, firstly, they reject or they undermine what representative liberal democracy is all about. Now, a liberal representative democracy accepts that a plurality of views is legitimate. We should support those views. We should allow those views. Okay. Okay. And and I think what many people would feel is that your organization and the way in which you, you campaign mm -hmm. is automatically discounting the views of Muslims and the rights okay. of Muslims to hold those views. But secondly, yeah. what far-right groups share, I mean, you, I'm sure you would say you're not the same organization as, say, I don't know, the American Nazi no, Party, no, right? Exactly. There's, there's a lot of variation within those parties. Hold on. Yeah. But what they also share, ultimately, is a rejection of human equality. And I, I would guess that many people who are watching the show would feel that your organization is no longer talking about militant Islam. Okay. You're just talking about Muslims. You get lots of media coverage. There's not actually many of them. Most of them are online on Facebook and on forums and all the rest of it. They can't really get more than four or five hundred people out in the streets. <laughs> look at the BNP in the UK. Polls, what, one percent, two percent. And look what happens across the rest of Europe. In France, the mm. Front National are polling at twenty percent. This is really key, isn't it? There's no, is it, Matt, there's no, there never really has been. Mosley in the 30s had a sort of brief, brief shining moment, if you want to call it that, but no, nothing much beyond that. There's been no tradition of electoral success in this country for far-right parties. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I mean, a lot of that has to do with the system that we have. I mean, we are are just as concerned as our European neighbours about the core far-right issues and I don't think those issues should be dismissed or discounted. I think those issues need to be talked about and that is probably the only point of convergence that, of that, that you and I would have. But, but, but I would also say in Britain particularly because of the failure of parties like the BNP and before the BNP the National Front, we've tended to be extra dismissive about the far right. We've dismissed supporters of the far right as a lunatic fringe who don't deserve to, to have their grievances talked about and I, and I don't necessarily think that's the...